Faye Jones, European Parliamentary Advisor for the uh, National Farmers Union, the NFU. On the 18th of April, you essentially, your organisation voted to remain in the EU. Is that exactly what you feel your organisation wants? Well, we've taken a decision. Uh, the NFU Council voted yesterday that in, it's in the best interest of UK agriculture to remain as a member of the European Union. And we have a diverse range of views within the organisation. Over the last few weeks, the NFU has had uh, over 28 uh, meetings in the different regions of the UK, all discussing this question. It's the most important question we will decide on for a generation. So after a, a long period of, of research and, and talking Talking to our membership, this is the view that the NFU Council has arrived at. I get the distinct impression, however, that uh, a number of farmers in the UK are both pro and contra remaining in the EU. Uh, how have you had to deal with that? How have you essentially decided uh, which vote goes? Well, the council view is, as I say, on the back of these member meetings. We've had phenomenal turnout at these meetings. Three, four hundred farmers are, are taking time off during lambing to come and talk about this. But yes, there is a very diverse range of views within our membership. And the crucial thing to emphasise is that the NFU isn't going to be campaigning. We've taken a position that it's in agriculture's best interest to remain a member of the EU, but we won't be telling our members how to vote. We have lots of views and this decision means that we can talk talk to our membership about exactly what leaving or staying uh, the EU means. Yeah, but I have to be clear on that. You say that you won't be telling your members what to do. Therefore, who exactly, who precisely within your organisation has taken this decision? Well, the NFU Council is made up of representatives from every region in the uh, in the UK. So I think there's two members from each region. So the NFU membership is very well represented and the council members have taken the view that was arrived at at the regional meetings to council and that's how the decision was reached yesterday. So it is the ultimate governing body of the union and it's how all significant decisions about how the union will progress are taken. Do you feel it will be a split vote? Do you feel that your decision will be popular? Come see, come sir. How will it be? Um, I don't know about popular. Um, I know it represents the membership. Uh, we've taken a view, having looked at the evidence, that it is in the best interest of UK agriculture to remain a member of the EU. But we will not be telling members how to vote because when farmers go to vote on the 23rd of June, they will be thinking about agriculture as well as security and sovereignty and all those other things that this referendum is about. So whether it's popular or not doesn't really matter. This is the view of council. Yes, I understand what you've said, but why does the NFU believe that it's best for UK farmers to remain in the EU? I think the decision reached at Council yesterday is uh, the culmination of a series of discussions and we've looked at it from all sides. Uh, we have looked at labour availability, we've looked at the future of the common agricultural policy and we've looked at our access to, to markets and trade and on the balance of that we feel that remaining in the EU is in the best interests of UK agriculture. It's the, the current situation doesn't present us with the uncertainty that we could have if we leave. So in view of of all of that, that's how the NFU arrived at its decision yesterday.